Hello and welcome to this video and I'll be trying to you know kind of uh, get a really fast overview about the uh, Affinity Photo on iPad Pro and currently we are running Affinity Photo on my iMac which I'm currently recording the screen just to see uh, just to show you what kind of stuff is going on what I've been uh, working on and um, I've been painting this using the AstroPad uh, from my iPad Pro so basically what it what it does it makes your iPads sort of a Wacom Cintiq uh, kind of device and today I was watching the Apple keynote at WWDC and it was fantastic for many reasons and one of them is because Serif have officially launched the Affinity Photo for iPad and iPad Pro in my case. So I've been waiting for this app like, I don't know, for a year or something. I guess they teased it like a year ago, if I'm correct. And yeah, I just, um, just wanted to share with you a couple of things and to show does it work any good or... So uh, what are we going to do now is just uh, file save this document um, in the iCloud drive Affinity Photo and oh, oh, for 8 photos so I just I just done uh, exactly that so no need to resave that and we will try to open this file in the iPad Pro and I will record screen from there just uh, hold on hold on for a second Okay, as you can see, I'm just uh, kind of right now recording my uh, screen on the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. And uh, basically, I'm starting the Affinity Photo, and now I'm going to press the plus button. As you can see, we can um, create a new document, import from all, our, all over the places, import from camera, panorama, you know, all kinds of things. But... What I want to do is go to iCloud Drive, choose my Affinity Photo folder and import the file that we were just talking about. So, as you can see, right, I'll just go back to show you. Uh, this file is 40, almost 4200 pixels by 4800 pixels, right? It's just insane amount of pixels, really. And as you can see, whoops, uh, as you can see in the navigator, if we go to 100%, just look how how big the whole picture is. And I just wanted to tell you that this is more than 4K. Uh, this is probably around five times more pixels than 4K. Whoops, not, not five times, but three times more. So um, in any case, as you can see, we have our, all our layers, right? We can edit them, we can, we can enable them, disable them, go to our groups. So everything really looks like on the uh, desktop. And I just went and pressed the brush button and we can go and create a new pixel layer. And basically we can start painting I'll just go to DAUB inks because I created this little stuff using the inks from DAUB and I'll just change color to the black and there you go we can immediately start painting our desired stuff of course you can go out and erase it if you don't like it so I just wanted to show you just to appreciate how fast it works because it really is amazing. Just like I said, it's 4200 pixels by 4800 pixels. It's mind blowing. But um, the real question is probably why would you kind of sort of use this app, right? Why would you go out there and spend your money on your iPad Pro to buy just sort of just another app for the 
uh, photo editing, right? Um, I'll stop on the painting stuff because, first of all, it's a fully featured app. And if you can uh, just uh, go and select, for example, um, the headlights layer, right? Uh, we can go, for example, and liquefy it, just like we can go and do it on our desktop version of this app. And I just want to make our headlamp a bit more, a bit more menacing, you know, a bit more triangular, just by liquefying it. So this kind of stuff, when you see like your, when you are painting an eye or a nose or a lips, and they are kind of you know out of whack, and they are not in their right place, you can go and just uh, liquefy the whole thing, and there you go, you fixed it. It looks amazing, voila. So um, this is really a fully featured stuff. Uh, this is not a joke. Uh, this is like, you know, if you don't really know what uh, Infinity Photo is on the desktop, it's uh, an amazing program that is, uh, that's like Photoshop. And I haven't used Photoshop in two years since I have bought uh, Infinity Photo. And it really is just, a faster way to work for me at least okay so i just really hope uh, it becomes another industry standard and of course it supports uh, psd uh, anything you can imagine including the photoshop document file so uh what i wanted to show you next is not to stop on this file but i just wanted to show you that you can also open files uh, from the Affinity Designer and you can work on your designs right just like you do in uh, Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer on your iPad I mean uh, it doesn't probably sound like really uh, fascinating and mind-blowing stuff but when people uh, tell me like uh, I don't know. I don't. I probably don't want to, you know, iPad because uh, you can do. You cannot do really work on it because it needs, uh, you know, sort of a killer app uh, because uh, you don't have a fully featured app for design work for photo work. Well, now it does, <laughs> right? And I, I gotta say, this is some phenomenal stuff. As you can see, I'm. I'm uh, editing the uh, live blurs for this section and just uh, kind of sort of improving stuff. And uh, I'm just uh, tweaking here and there just to show you how, how awesome does it all work. You can edit the text, you can uh, spice things up. Whoops, my bad. Uh, you can edit whatever you want. Uh, you can go to the text styles, you can you know, uh, I haven't installed Future PT on my iPad Pro just yet, so I just go uh, with the basic Futura, right? So that's kind of cool. Okay, double tap on uh, this text, and uh, here we are. Let's go to, I don't know, Athelos might, no, might be alright. Okay, and as you can see, it, it is really smooth. Um, it, it works pretty good. So you can go and return. Basically, you can uh, share it wherever you want. You can save it on your iCloud. Uh, you can paint, you can, you can do whatever you want. Of course, you can create a new document and make it as big as you want. Let's, for example, go to pixels and create a 12,000 pixels by 8,000 pixels. That sounds about right. And there you go, right? You can go press your brush and start creating, start working on your next masterpiece. Right? So this is we, our flag. This is our little man. And he's like, hey, hey, finally. Woohoo. Finally, a killer app for the iPad Pro. So uh, what I wanted to say is, this is the app to have on your iPad Pro, right? It's not just for Netflix. It's not just for, I don't know, taking selfies. 
if you were taking, taking selfies with your iPad anyway. It's not just to watch YouTube, right? It is now a fully featured kind of mobile studio for creating, for painting, for editing, um, any kinds of documents, any sort of things. And I just want to say thank you very much, Serif team, for bringing this stuff to the iPad Pro. I enjoy using your apps on the desktop and I will be using it on the iPad Pro as well. Thanks for that. And I hope you enjoyed this really quick overview of the uh, of the Affinity Photo on the iPad Pro. And I hope to see you in the next videos. Uh, please click uh, subscribe and thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, don't. And yeah, see you in the next one. That was Affinity Photo on the iPad Pro. Thanks for watching.